Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Selenium Python tutorial, we are going to learn how you can work with the hidden elements on any web page. Or we'll be using is displayed method. So how you can work with the is displayed method in Selenium Python. So many times, say for example, you are on a particular website, you would have noticed that depending on the selection that you make, a uh, sub element or any uh, element or the child element gets displayed or hidden accordingly. So let me take an example here. So we'll say, for example, go to this particular website and here you will see that this is the W3 toggle hide and show. If you see that this particular web element, click the button, right? So this section appears. And if you click on this toggle hide and show, this particular section disappears, right? And if you click on it, it appears again. So this visibility is basically what is displayed method will help you. So is displayed as you use is displayed with your vis visual eyes. So it, at the moment, I can see this particular web element displayed. So is displayed method will do similar thing. So it will check whether the element is displayed at the moment and it will return true. And if the element is not displayed, say for example, in this case, it is not displayed on the page. So in this particular case, it will return false, right? The other example is, so in this case, I'll show you if I right click and click on this particular inspect, you will see that this style is display block, right? So at the moment it is displaying the block. If I click on this toggle again, you will see that display has changed to none. So what this means is that element is still there in the DOM. This is the document object model, right? The whole HTML. So this element, this div ID, my div is still there. The only thing is it, it has been hidden by the style sheet. So it, it has been hidden by the style. So you can see that display none and that's how it is hidden. The second example is if say for example here on the yatra.com, let me close this. I click on this hotels. Okay. If I go to hotels and here, if I go to this drop down and click on this plus in the child section here, you will see age of child appears. Okay. Now if I right click and inspect this, this particular web element age select is there. Okay. Now if I minim minus it or the child below 12 years change it to zero, you will see that a particular web element has disappeared completely. And this is a different behavior, right? So in the first case, we are having the web element code or object in the DOM. The only way it is shown and hidden is through the styling. Now in the second case, the DOM completely destroys that particular web element, right? So both the scenarios you can um, check with the is displayed. But in the second scenario, when you have this particular web element not completely present or not present on in the DOM at all. In that particular case, it will throw an exception and we'll see what exception it throws. So if I say, for example, I'll show you this as well. So let me click on this plus inspect and go to selector sub and copy this particular X path. If I paste this X path and hit enter here, you will see one element is matching. Let me change it to zero. And if I hit enter again here, you will see zero element matching. That means this particular web element is not at all present or part of the DOM at the moment. Okay. So this scenario is different as compared to this scenario. In case of this one, if I right click and inspect this particular click button, let me go and inspect it, go to selector sub, copy this particular X path, paste it here and enter. You will see one element is matching because this code is there in the DOM. If I hide it and then click on enter, you will still see that one element matching has been returned. Okay. So both the scenarios, there are hidden elements or in the first case, there are hidden elements. The element is there on the, in the DOM, but it is hidden. In the second case, the element gets destroyed. So it is not there at all in the DOM. So in the second case, when you use is displayed, then it will return an exception and we'll understand that with an example. Okay. So quickly, let me go to PyCharm and copy this existing code that was there with the web element state and I'll create a new Python file or oh, not HTML file. Let me create a Python file and I will say demo 
hidden element. I'll paste everything there and let me remove everything from this particular file. Just keep the Chrome driver manager and open the website. So we'll start with this one. So we'll open this website W3 pages where we can understand is displayed method. And now once this particular website is loaded, if we'll refresh this website, let me refresh. You'll see that this particular web element is displayed. So if I right click and inspect this particular web element and and go to selectors hub let me copy this particular x path okay so this is the x path for this particular button here right this web element click the button we'll go to this particular uh, pie charm and we'll say driver dot find element by x path right so find element by x path and we'll provide the x path there and then we'll say dot is displayed we are checking whether this particular web element is displayed or not once this particular page is loaded so what this is displayed method will return is it will return a boolean true or false so in this particular case because the element is displayed when the page is loaded it should return true and we can print it or we can store it in a variable so we can simply say let's define a variable element or elem and we can print so this this variable will store the true or false and we can print that so we can simply say print elem okay and it will print true in this particular case because once the page loads the element is displayed okay now what we'll do is we'll use that toggle button so we'll click on this toggle so that this particular web element is hidden and then check whether the web element is displayed or not so let me identify or inspect the locator for that and here in the selectors hub it has clearly shown me the locator i'll copy the x path and i will simply say driver dot find element and by x path and paste the x path there and i will click close this and i'll click on this particular button so let me minimize this as well now it's more clear so now once that that particular locator is so this will this line basically the line here this particular line will click on that particular on this toggle hide and show button okay so it will hide it hide this particular section now after that particular section is hidden let's check the presence or display of that particular same web element okay so in this case it should return false because the web element has been hidden we have clicked on the toggle hide show button okay so let's do that bit first so now i'll create an object of this class so i'll say demo i'll create a variable and i'll say demo displayed okay and here i didn't change the element state so let me change the class name as well so i'll say demo hidden elements and here is displayed so demo underscore is displayed so make sure you do not use the method or class name which exists in the python library or selenium library because that will conflict so that is why i have appended demo is displayed just to name it and this is for the demo purpose for the learning purpose in the actual scenario you'll use the proper naming conventions when you're defining classes and methods okay so i'll define a variable demo is displayed which will hold the reference of my class object right so I'll, to create an object i'll say demo hidden elements followed by the parenthesis and this variable references to the object of this particular class and now with this particular variable okay i can simply call the method so i can say demo is displayed method i can call and then all this code will get executed so if i run this now it will open the browser it will check the displayed and then you'll see that it has very quickly so let me um, put some weight there so that you can see it in action so i can see time dot sleep and i will say sleep for two seconds okay and then it will click on toggle show height so let me run it so you see that it has clicked on toggle and then check the presence or basically the check the display of those uh, web element the web element that we are checking and in the first case if you see that it has returned true so as soon as this web element or the web page loaded it checked the display of this particular web element right so this is the x path of the web element that we are checking and the first print statement it has printed true then it has clicked on this toggle hide and show button and after clicking on the toggle button the web element is hidden now and is displayed has written returned false in the second case right so that's how you will work with the hidden elements on any web page 
Now, this is the first scenario, okay, where the web element is there in the DOM, but it is hidden. Now, the second case of yatra.com is where the hidden element or the element completely is not there in the DOM. In that particular case, this particular method, if you are using, it will return the exception, okay. So, let me create another method. So, I'll say def and demo is displayed and I'll name it as demo is displayed and let me say Yatra okay and in this particular case let me copy these lines there and open yatra.com okay so copy yatra.com this hotels section so I'll copy that and we'll paste everything here right so now on this particular page as soon as I will click on this child plus button here okay then it will show me this particular age of child element right so we need to let me refresh this page and then we'll identify the web elements to click on so first thing we have to so once the page loads first thing we have to click on this traveler and hotel so if I right click inspect and quickly copy the locator so I'll copy this relative X path from selector sub and I'll say driver dot find element by X path to make it quick and copy the locator and I will say dot click right so that's the first step to click on that particular element once we click on that particular element this particular section will appear and we have to click on this child plus icon so right click inspect and we'll copy this relative X path okay now you can optimize these X paths in uh, in your code you do not need to have this lengthy X path you can optimize and if you want to learn in detail about the X path go ahead and uh, enroll in the courses that I published on the YouTube. So complete XPath and CSS tutorials are there on the YouTube. There are free courses on training.rcvacademy.com by selector sub creator Sanjay Kumar. So you can enroll in those free courses and get your XPath certification as well if you want. So uh, I'll copy the, this XPath just to expedite the process and we'll go to PyCharm and I'll simply say driver dot find element by XPath again and paste the XPath. Now you can see how lengthy this XPath is. So we, we can optimize these XPaths. Okay. And then I'll say click. So now that button will be clicked. So this particular plus will be clicked and now this web element should be visible. So if I click on this particular inspect and check the presence of this web element. So let me copy the web element and I'll say driver um, dot find element by XPath and then I'll say dot is displayed. We'll say we'll see whether this particular element is now displayed or not after these steps right so it should return me so we'll say we'll store it in a variable and we'll print what it has returned so in this particular case it should return true right so let me comment these let me comment this line out I do not want to run the first method so I'll simply say demo displayed and I will call the second method which is Yatra okay and let's see what it is what this particular print statement returns okay so let me run this so it's opening yatra.com it will go to hotels click on the travelers and you can see it has returned true let me put some weight so that you can see it properly again sleep here and asleep there okay run again so opening yatra.com will click and then click on the child and then it will check the display of that particular web element eight select and it has found it and it has printed true okay now say for example I change that particular or I change this child to zero okay so let's see as soon as I change it to zero you can see the the DOM destroys that particular web element in this particular structure in this HTML right so now let me refresh this page and let's identify the locator for the minus sign okay so we want to click on this minus and then verify that this age of child element is not displayed anymore okay so let me identify this minus and copy this x path and we'll go to the code here and now here what we want to do is we want to basically click on the minus sign so we'll say driver dot find element by x path and we'll put the x path there and click on that web element okay so we'll say dot all right now just because i'm demoing i'm not 
working on any of these uh, XPath optimization, but it is highly recommended that you go ahead and optimize these XPath based on the learning that you will do in the XPath series, which is part of the YouTube channel and the training portal as well. Okay, so go ahead and watch those free tutorials. It will help you a lot to optimize these lengthy XPath. Okay, so now once the minus has been clicked, then let's see what is the scenario or whether this particular element, the eighth select in that particular case once you click on the minus so if I go and click on the minus right so that element is no more there it's no more in the DOM itself so let's see what is displayed method will return in this particular case so let me change it to one and let's see whether this will print anything or not okay so if I run this now so it will open the yatra.com it will increase the number and then it should decrease right so it has changed it to zero and then let's see what has happened okay so there is an exception and here you'll see that it has printed true in the first case where it found the element right so it, the element is displayed because the element was there in the DOM right and in the second case it has started giving me error so at the line 31 then in 26 basically so in a demo so what what's there in the 26 so it says element is displayed right so here it is giving me error and what's the error so it has given me no such element exception and the message is no such element unable to locate element right so why is this happening the reason for that is because there is no such element or the locator itself is not able to locate that web element in the DOM at all because when we selected minus right when we selected minus or the child below 12 years is zero then that particular element is not part of the DOM at all and you will get no such element exception in that particular case. So if the element is there in the DOM and you use is displayed method it will return either true or false if the element is there in the DOM. If the element is not at all in the DOM you will get no such element exception if you're using the is displayed method in the similar way as you have used in the previous example which is basically the W3 website side that we have taken all right so in this case it was just a matter of showing and hiding the element the element was always the part of the dom in the second case or in many scenarios you will find that the element is not part of the dom as soon as it is disabled or invisible it is destroyed completely and you will get no such element exception and you might be wondering why i'm getting this exception so make sure that you understand why you are getting no such element exception and uh, how you can tackle these sort of situations right so this is all about how you can work with the hidden elements on any web page and understanding how the elements get hidden so there are multiple ways so there there might be possibility that the element is part of the dom but it is hidden by the styling or it completely is destroyed if the complete if the element is completely destroyed in that particular case if you are using any of these is displayed method then you will get an exception element not found which is pretty obvious right i mean element this selector is not able to find because element itself is not there so it doesn't matter which selector you are using uh, it won't be able to locate that particular web element all right so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful and clear thank you very much for watching